The officials for tonight's game, Adam Blosky from Saskatoon is one of the referees. Mark Pierce from North Vancouver is the other. The linesmen are Dion Foster from Edmonton and Jonathan Deschamps from Trois-Rivières, Quebec. Starting in goal for the Russians is 19-year-old Arthur Akyamov, a fourth-round pick of the Toronto Maple Leafs, who plays for AK Bars Kazan in the KHL. He's also played in their junior league and their second league. Jacob Brandner, the 19-year-old, gets the start for the Austrians. He allowed one goal here right. Oh, Chihanov is injured here. He crashed into the boards. And it will be a penalty shot. That is called by referee Adam Blosky. The next question is whether Chihanov is going to be able to take it. He, down to our left, he's crashed into the boards, and if he went in Five feet Austria, first, shot. there's always a danger there. So here's the infraction. Oh, yeah. Pfeffer took him. Oh, boy. Not so certain he's going to be even able to continue here. He's on one foot, hopped over the bench. And he will not take the shot. It will Rod be Rodian Amirov. Toronto first round pick. Amirov works in score. So on the penalty shot, Russia takes a 1-0 lead. When, when this Russian team played in the Kariala Cup, it was all this young group of players playing against older senior league players, and Amirov had a terrific tournament. Three goals in three games. Here he makes one little fake and a pretty subtle move to his forehand, and that moves the puck enough that Bradner can't keep up to it. And Amirov, whose head stays up to see the entire play in front of him, easily beats the goaltender, and it's 1-0 Russia. Mirov scored three goals in three games in the Kariala Cup, which is the tournament in Finland. The Russians played against Czech, Finnish, and Swedish teams, all men's teams, you say, Ray. And Larionov lobbied hard for his Russian junior team to go to that tournament and play. Plays it back across. Puck Colson walks in. That's the Puck Colson shoots, scores! And the captain strikes. It is first in this world, Junior, and it's 2-0 Russia. Well, that'll make Puck Colson feel a lot better. On the board for the first time in this tournament. He rips that shot over the blocker of Brander. The Russians control the puck, and Puck Colson has come all the way to the top of the circles. What's different, Gord, from there, uh, there against the, and against the Czechs, they used this high forward coming out by the blue line against the Czechs. The difference was that forward shot from out by the blue line. Now, but Colson walks in almost to the dots and rips this over Bradner's shoulder. That's a terrific release. It's just a dangerous way to go into the boards. He didn't really have any other option. And I have a long shot. Rebound score. We saw earlier today Quinton Byfield in a six-point game for Canada. But Colson came in with no points and his two goals here in the first period. Uh, a little relaxed, a little the air comes out of you a little bit. You can just play your game. Look how strong put Colson is behind the net. Keeps the play alive. Amirov, good work against the boards. He shields the puck. Watch put Colson though. He doesn't stand below the goal line, wondering where the puck's gonna go. As this puck ends up. Back at the point with the work from Amirov. Two quick strides to the front of the net, and he stops the puck before it gets to Bradner. And then good hands to pull it to his forehand, and he's got a freebie from that point. That's good. Like a tenth of a second, and he's amazing. Puck pulls it in, fires at Bradner, and it hangs on, is it in? It's in! Christopher Genoff makes it as soon as he gets the goal, and it's right on the goal line. If it's Puck Coles, and that's a first period hat trick. I think this is going to be who's Nadine off. Right on, right on, right on. 
Russia quickly through the middle of the ice, and now the attack is on. But Cole's in lots of room to shoot. And Huznadinov actually taps it over the goal line, and it's a good thing he does. Or I think Harnish is going to poke this away, but Huznadinov reaches in, and yes, it's his. Yeah, he does touch it. <laughs> what? <laughs> He could tell his exactly. parents, he could tell his parents it was a slapper from the wing. I, I know exactly what you were thinking there. For the Austrians, two on one, Casper works in. Casper centers it in, and it's Score! Sarah Peters has Austria's first goal of this World Junior Championship. Peters has seven goals in six games in the... Swedish Junior League this year and when this team got promoted from 1A to the World Junior Championship he had three goals in five games he fights off the back checking Russian forward to take this really nice pass oh it's Muhammad Doolin oh I'm sorry Ponomariev he lifts Ponomariev's stick to take this sweet little dish from this 16 year old forward Marco Kasper eligible for the 2022 draft and Peters is on the board, as is Austria, and it's 4-1. Peters. Shania Long rear shot, score! I'm not sure if that was tipped on the way or if it went all the way through here. But that's a good move by Kanaya. Kanaya takes the puck from his right and goes all the way across the line and then shoots it back through what is, what is now a double-stack screen with Petkolzov and Kuznadinov as Kanayazev goes across Kuznadinov goes straight in front of Brandner right at the time when the puck arrives look at the mobility across the line a simple clean Whoa. wrist shot oh beautiful a what a great look from the guys <laughs> and that goes just perfectly into the corner of the net didn't touch a thing Artemi Kanayas have the San Jose second round pick, the oldest player in the tournament. He turns 20 on January the 4th. <laughs> Abramov walks in, fires the goal post. Rebound, score, up and out <laughs> Only so much he can do. Yeah, you bet. Afanasyev has been a, an impressive player. That's his first goal of the of the tournament, but he's a powerful skater. Nashville second round pick in 2019. Well, bunted out of midair. We see Philip Tomasino score for Canada. He was Nashville's first this year. You can see how interesting it is to, to put these pieces together a little bit. If you've got a second rounder and Afanasev, you've got Tomasino and all of a sudden, Nashville's got a couple of forwards on the horizon. And a goalie, too, and a star of the pick in the first. Played some minor hockey in the Detroit area. And another shot off the pipe and in. This time from Gripsuk. So this line with a couple of late goals. <laughs> 45 seconds apart is... Gritschuk gets his first of the tournament. Face-off win, and Gritschuk is going to help with it. Wow, that's a rocket, too. Afanasev puts his right on the tee for him, and he hammers this. Post it in. In Russia, there is the KHL. Then their second league, their version of the American League, is the VHL. Their junior league is the MHL. Gritschuk has played in all three this year.